Hey guys, what's up? My name's Justin Mincelli, and welcome to my first ever poker vlog. I um, I recently got into poker about seven, eight months ago, but ever since I got into it, I've been watching videos, tutorials, anything I can do to get better at playing poker. And ever since the quarantine let up a little bit and poker houses opened again, I've been playing poker three, four, or five times a week, sometimes even every day of the week. Just trying to get better, repetition, getting hands, seeing how different people bet in different situations, picking up basically anything and everything from anyone I play against, any hand I play. So I started recording my hands so I could go over it again, and I figured why not turn it into a vlog. Maybe a little journey to see how someone who just starts off at poker hopefully becomes really good one day. And I'm not the greatest player. I'm usually not even the best player at my table. But I am getting better, faster and faster, and, and I could tell in the past couple months I've gotten a lot better even since I started going to these poker houses a couple months ago. But I just wanted to uh, start this vlog, share my experiences with you guys, share the grind, and also let people know that poker isn't just a sport or a game for older people, which people usually think it is. I'm only 19 years old. And I got into poker. So I want everyone to know that no matter what age you are, where you live, this is something you can do. A little background information about me. I was a college baseball player. I played baseball my whole life. I wound up tearing my shoulder. And I couldn't play anymore. So I felt like I was out of control of most of the things that were happening in my life. And poker is really the first time I felt like I was in control of something even though the cards come out at any rate. I'm in control again. It's me against my opponent. It's what I felt like for, for baseball. But yeah, I live in uh, Florida, and I don't live in a big poker state like Nevada, New Jersey, California. But uh, I just want to go through my experiences with you guys so you guys could see everything I do, everything I get better at, everything I get worse at. And I just want to start this vlog. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoy it. On my big blind, I look down at 7-10 of spades. Not a great hand, but I figure with my big blind, why not at least see a flop? Maybe I'll hit a set. And the flop comes out 8 of spades, 9 of hearts, jack of spades. So I have the world. I have a straight draw, I have a straight, and I have a flush draw. I check it through to conceal my hand. Hijack bet 6, 2 other people fold, I call. The turn is a 5 of clubs. Shouldn't really change anything, hoping this guy hits a set. I check, he checks, so I'm a little worried about checking the river. The river's a king of hearts. He leads for 15, I raise to 30, he snap folds, and I show my cards, just a little friendliness. Next hand I get is ace four spades. I look down on it on my straddle and cut off. Same guy, raises to $15. The small blind calls, and I call. Figure I'll see a flop, maybe get a spade draw. But that's not what winds up happening. The flop is queen, ace, ace. I flop a set. In this situation, I'm not really worried about too much. Only thing I'm worried about currently is getting out kicked by a, by a bigger ace. Or maybe pocket queens, but if that happens, it happens. I'm going to lose my money. I check it. The original preflop aggressor bets 15. And I say, screw it, why not? I'll just flat. There's no sense in raising in that situation. The turn is a two of clubs, though. So now we have a pretty good pot. I check it, check it over to him, he checks. So now I'm not worried about the pocket queens. The jack of hearts comes out, and I lead for 35. Figure, it's not a bad bet, pretty good value. Then the cutoff is tanking. It's a good minute or so before he actually makes his decision on what he's going to do. And ultimately, he winds up calling. And he called very light. He said he had queen, queen king. But in that situation, that's exactly what I want. I want that, that last little don't think I really have anything. So you're going to call. Next hand I'm going to go over is on my under the gun plus one double straddle. 
I did it for, you know, shits and gigs. There's no real reason not to. I was up at that point. Flop is nine of spades, ten of hearts, five of hearts. So I flop a uh, gutter. I figure I'll bet ten. Try to get, try to take down the pot right now. But the turn is the seven of spades, giving us a straight. The opponent leads for 15, so I raise to 35 because he is one of those players that have been fishing the whole time. As soon as I do that, he tanks, he tanks, and then he ultimately makes the correct laydown, and he folds it. In that situation, I'm worried because it's a player who fishes a lot. He goes for draws, and the way he bet that out made me believe he was on to a, uh, a spade draw. But... You know what, I got a decent sized pot on my double straddle. I'm cool with it. Next hand is Jack 10 of hearts on my big blind. Hijack raises to seven, small blind, and I both call. I figure might as well see a flop. We flop amazing though. Ace of hearts, king of hearts, nine of clubs. We have a royal flush draw, gutter, to, gutter straight, and the second nuts flush draw. We basically have anything we want. Hijack that leads out for 10. Small blind folds, I flat. The turn is the queen of spades. Great card, giving us Broadway. Nothing ha nothing can beat us right now. The river is the eight of clubs. I lead out for 30 because of the check back on the turn. The opponent folds. He folded a ace. He folded ace nine, or ace nine, two pair. I guess I have to start bluffing a little more because these players give us too much credit. I raise the $5 with king, queen of spades. Folds all the way to small blind who shoves for $33. He was the short stack all day. And I don't really know. But can't really fold this in this situation. He could be calling a slight with small po pocket pair. Maybe even a suited connector. So I make the call for only $28 more. Turn over my hand. Just in case. I always just turn over my hand pretty fast usually. There's no point in not for me. And he turns over nine, ten of hearts. This is a situation I want to be in. Two over cards, two, his two under cards. But it's still a coin flip. The flop comes out with the five, or five of diamonds, the nine of diamonds, and the four of hearts. Not a great, not a great flop for me. Turns a ten, giving us a gut shot. But the river is a brick. It's the two of diamonds. We lose that hand. But overall, I had a pretty good session. I wound up making 150 bucks out of it. I bought in for 100 Walked out with about 255 So overall, it wasn't a bad session for me. I probably could have uh, not called that last, that last all in. Walked out with a little more. But it is what it is. I was nearing the end of how long I was going to be there. So I figured, why not? At least try to get that hand in. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching the first vlog. Quality may not be great. I'm trying to get better at editing, trying to get better at recording. But I really appreciate you guys watching it. Thanks.